In this video, I'm going to go through the process of how you'd create an Android app as a demonstration app for your client and to deliver it to your client without having to first publish it to Google. So for the example, I'm going to use public event. I'll click on select. Click on use this template. And automatically it's given a name, public event one. We'll just use that as it is, create. Okay, let's quickly configure it. It's going to be a native Android app. Let's click on next. Now everything else we're actually going to configure later. And click on done. Now let's assume we've already customized this to our client specifications and this is basically the final app. Well, we're not going to deliver it exactly like this. We're still going to have to edit it to tell them it's a demonstration version. So let's go to tab one, click on edit. So as a quick example, I'm just going to add the word demo to the top. So I'm just going to click in the top left of this previewer and add the word demo and maybe a website address, HTTP, colon slash slash. In my case, it would be buzzapps. Dot com, but you put your own website address, of course, and click on save. Now let's click on done. Let's go back to the dashboard. So click on done. And now I'm going to click on publish. So now we need to add it to one of our subscriptions. Let's leave it as that. Click on add. And now that's in our subscription. Public event one. Click on public event one. And now we're ready to publish and start submission process. Oops, and it turns out we needed a Google Maps API key. Well, as I've already got a video explaining how to set up an API key for Google Maps, I'm not gonna do it in this video. So let's go back and just take out the page that requires the API key. So it's actually tab four. So let's edit that. I'll just quickly convert it to something else. Just convert it to a blank HTML. This is just for an example. Click on done. And the feedback form also requires a Google API key because it has a map or a GPS locator. Okay, so we're going to change this, convert it. So let's also quickly just change this to a blank HTML. Convert, save, done. Click on done. Start submission process. All right, so we're going to do an instant build. This is important. You're not going to do a build and publish. You're going to do an instant build. Okay, next, quickly add some icons. I've already created some, so let's add them now. and click on next. And we're gonna leave push notifications disabled. That won't actually work if we're publishing outside of Google anyway. Okay, we'll leave most of the permissions. Just take out read phone status, record audio, and take pictures. We're not using any of those. We're not using phone gap, click on next. And just leave it as version one, enable apps rotation. Okay, and oh, package name. I'm going to give it com. Dot. In my case, it's going to be those apps, but you might want to call it your domain name and the name of the app. In this case, it's public events one. Okay. Submit. And that's done. Click on done. Now we should get an email in a minute or so to tell us that the app has been built. We'll download the app and upload it to our website. Okay, several minutes have now passed, so let's go and download our new app. Click on Public Event 1. It says APK Delivered. So back to Edit App. And we can download it from here. We can see Last Build on November 2nd. Okay, click on Download. Click OK. Save File. Let's put it in Public Event 1. Save. Now we need to extract our APK file from the zip file. So let's go back to public event one, where the zip file is. Let's open the zip file. Inside we see app release.apk, that's what we want. 
So let's just do extract all files. Extract. Now we've got the file apprelease.apk and we can upload this to our website. Now I'm going to quickly upload this to my website using a program called FileZilla. So I've just connected in and we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call it demo. And this is where the client will be able to download their APK file from. So it was in this folder here. Let's see, it released. Let's drag it across into demo. Okay, and that'll take a few moments to upload. I'll just pause the video. Okay, that's finished uploading. If we look inside the folder, as you can see, it, it is here at release.apk. Now, with a phone, if we navigate to that URL, which in this case would be iCashSecrets.com slash demo slash app dash release dot apk it would trigger it to download this apk file to the phone now of course we should probably give this apk file a more meaningful name so that our client knows what it is that they're downloading so let's rename this app to something like in this case events demo dot apk okay and now that is the file we're going to go and download from our phone we would of course email the link to our client. So let's go to ICAS secret slash demo and we can see in there event demo.apk. So if we right click on that, we can just do copy link location. Let's get notepad and paste it in. And that is the URL that we would email to our client. So let's go and check that on our phone. Okay, let's navigate to iCashSecrets.com slash demo. Of course, you would navigate to your own website and we'll just pinch and zoom. Okay, event demo.apk. Let's download that file. It says start download. Okay, so what it's showing as download complete. So, there we go. Package installer, verify and install. I haven't tried that, but uh, package installer. Install blocked. For security, your phone is set to block installation of applications not sourced in the Android market. Okay, so we go to settings. We need to change that to unknown sources. Okay, so we want unknown sources because we're not going through Google Play. Now we can go back to where we were. Package installer. Install. Okay, open. Okay, there's our app. And at the top we've got demo as we put in there. So our client knows it's not the final version. This is the version I'm getting for free as a test. The calendar function. Events. So this is how you can deliver a demonstration version of your app to your client without having to go through Google Play. The key thing is the client needs to go to their settings applications and allow unknown sources right and then they'll be able to install directly from your website that's it thank you for watching